Torres. What's up, boo? Gang, what's up, Taurus? What's up, booze, baby? What's going on with the Taurus for the ending of April 2019? <laughs> Are you guys in this energy of going through a transformative period? And it's about individuality. And ultimately, you guys kind of have the answer, but you're just kind of looking for the signs. <laughs> Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm welcome. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. Make cuss a little, make cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can better assist you without cussing. Because me, the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that. All right? Um, you guys, this is a general. It's not a personal. If you need a personal, that information can be found within the description. New family members, new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We are a little dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, okay? But we do love. We share. We grow. We enlighten. You know, y'all, and we cuss, all right? You guys, thank you so much for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. Returning family, what's popping? What's up, gang, gang? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Boo, gang, it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. When I'm cute, cute, I'm going to come back to y'all in the month of May. So if you are April Taurus, happy birthday, boo. All right, let's get into it. So this will be for the Summer Rising Venus as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Taurus uh, for the end of April. Okay, we're going to say mid-April. I'm going to put mid-April on this damn thing, but y'all, it's for the end of April because some of this may have already occurred, and then some of this is going to take you into the ending of April, okay? Let's rock. So we're going to start with the intuitive messages. What I got for my Tauruses was, let me get my selenite one. Okay. The messages that I got for Taurus was focus decisions loss past life reflection fear of losing faith transportation royalty advisor accountant investments success compassion Focus, compromise, catalyst, self-worth, resolution, peaceful, I'm sorry, peaceful resolution, yeah, I'm sorry, independence, anxiety, happiness, choices, life path, contracts, interference, okay? So if those intuitive messages did resonate with the bull like you, let's talk about it. All right. So your angel message for the month comes from Archangel Uriel. It says, you know what to do. Trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Okay. So again, that's the energy that I really felt from Taurus. Like you guys already have this inner, this overstanding, this inner standing of what it is that needs to be done. However, there's like this little dragon of the feet energy and bulls. I understand that you're fixing your ways, but you guys, you guys are going to find the most, so much valuable, so much valuable um, assets to you on a soul perspective, as well as on a material perspective, if you guys choose to um, adapt with the transforming of the changes that are happening around you, okay? Um, and I feel like this has to do with really people, places, and things. You know, it's not in one limited area of your life, you know. Some of you all during this time, um, some of you guys could be talking about having children, okay. If you are um tied to someone tied to someone during this time, some of you guys could be finding out that you're pregnant during this time. Or there is abundance around some type of new business endeavor. Some of you guys may be um, actually signing new contracts or reviewing, or reviewing a contract. I'm getting the um, the energy of you guys. Be careful. Make sure if you're going to be signing contracts or you're trying to start some type of new business endeavor that you're really, really reading all of, like, all even a little bitty shit at the bottom. I mean, read everything because I feel like there is some type of, like, binding 
it, 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 it's an energy of some, 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 it's an energy of like some sort of binding. And I feel like for some of you, you're going to end up paying out way more energetically than you actually bargained to, you know, sign up for at the beginning. So I definitely feel like there's a need for you guys to truly be, um, very, very, very observative when it comes to paperwork, signings, anything, lease agreements, anything to that extent, because I do feel either some type of fluctuation or some type of energy of, um, Strong fluctuation, y'all, especially if you're signing a lease agreement, make sure that you, you're signing into like a fixed rate of something. Um, this could also have to do with your lights for some of you that I'm hearing. Some of y'all could actually be overlooking your light bill during this time and finding out motherfuckers owe you like at least $200 worth of fixed, fi fixed influx damn rates and shit. And, and I feel like for some of you all, this will be, um, Actually, there is a resolution to this, but you're needing to speak up. There's a time, it, it, there's this energy of speaking up. Some of you guys could also be going through um, some type of heart chakra activation during this time as well. And some of you all could also be getting into like the vegan lifestyle or it's something regarding um, gardening or trying to grow something or trying to see something flourish. OK, or I'm hearing harvest. OK, so some of you guys are waiting for something to harvest in your favor. It's kind of like this, this energy of I'm stepping back because I have this knowing that my abundance is going to be coming towards me. The fact that I see two tens here, some of you guys could actually be gaining perspective, gaining some type of new perspective over some type of issue. This could have to do with the legality. This could have to do with the relationship. But there will be some type of light shed over some type of issue around having to do with your abundance, having to do with your material life, having to do for some of you all with your home life. Some of you guys are going through some type of transformative period. Okay, so some of you all, but some of you all could have lost a child. And I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm hearing eight. So this could have been eight months ago. Or some of you guys could have lost a baby while you were eight months pregnant. This could have also been eight years ago. There is a child, y'all, that is trying to come through. I definitely feel like for some of you all, it, it's destined for you to have some type of child. Like for those of you who have been in long-term relationships, and you have been trying to um, have a child with someone. For some of you all during this time, you could be meeting someone, okay? This could be some type of past life union, or this could be some type of soul contract that you signed previously before coming, you know, reincarnating here on the earth. But I definitely feel like for some of you all, this, this, this does involve some type of a child, okay? So some of you all have a soul contract to have some type of family dynamic or have some type of flourishing abundance with someone, okay? So I definitely feel like... For some of you all, for some of you all, I'm also hearing who have possibly lost a mother. It's something about this child's eyes that is going to be very resembling of your mother. It's very distinct because this child is being reincarnated as your mother to, it, it's again, some type of soul contracts. However, it has to come through some particular like so, like some particular source or whatever source this is coming from this person is extremely abundant but for those of you who possibly live some type of poverty lifestyle in, like in the past this could even been when you were younger in this life like you come up you came up from some type of poverty lifestyle so your biggest fear is like having a lack thereof and so it, it, it for some of you all this could have to do with like the rectifying of a soul contract. Some of you all, this has to do with your abundance. And for some of you all, you, there's a need for you to walk in authenticity. A lot of you all may be very attracted to being outside in nature during this time. It's going to assist you guys in making grounded decisions, centered decisions. And some of you all really need to sit your damn womb. I've been getting this for a lot of you all with that damn root chakra. Some of you all really need to sit your room, sit your ass in the grass, Taurus. We are that. We are one with the elements, baby. We made of that. That's the best centering you're going to ever have because for some of you all there, again, there's this fear around either being emotionally emotionally lacking over. Some of you all have a fear of the unknown, which is preventing you all from being abundant or like moving forward or having some type of momentum towards some type of business idea. I do see you guys getting some type of help. This could be an older gentleman or some type of like father figure. This could even be a father-in-law. This could be an uncle. This could be a friend of a, a father of a friend. But I definitely feel there's a need for you to speak up so someone can actually assist you in transforming something. Maybe you tried something in the past and it didn't work out for you, but it, it, it's about divine timing here. Some of y'all have a telepathic connection with someone who could also be an earth sign, Capricorn, Toy Virgo. 
this person could also be um some form like I, I feel like with this four with it with the, with this mother card here it's a number four so for some of you all this could be um either another tourist like you this could also be an Aryan Aries this could also be um like an empress like energy um Taurus Libra Virgo Aries Pisces but a very nurturing energy but there's this sense of fear because there's this sense of something having to be like or or, or, or someone feeling as if like guilty for um someone else's like lack or um like having a lack around the fear of unknown like there's thoughts of lack before there's thoughts of actual abundance like well what if this don't work out well what the fuck Taurus what if it does don't limit yourself the opportunities to truly show you who the fuck you cap who you are and what you're capable of because for some of you all you have this limited belief in what in, in your capabilities and spirit is coming to show you otherwise during this time for some of you all there's a need of balance and some of you guys are could be trying to find balance in possibly two relationships okay or two situations maybe this could also be having to do with um your work life or home i definitely feel like with it being an earthy energy too, this could also have to do with money or finances during this time but there's a need for you to release this poverty mindset of lacking or feeling as if you're going to lack or something's going to be like or something's going to fall behind again i knew that damn root chakra i felt huh for some of you all there's a grounding there's a centering that's occurring for some of you all this is having to do with your solar plexus solar plexus like solar plexus you have a um a solar plexus that is either um under active there's a need for you to work on meditating more so, getting more so grounded, connecting with spirit more. Instead of putting the energy into worry and anxiety. Some of you all are artists. Some of you all are painters. Some of you all are musicians. Some of you all have the gift of um, the gift of speech or the gift of persuasion. And there's a need for you all to move towards your path um, as a light worker with that gift of persuasion because some of you all are very philosophical. But there's this centering that needs to occur because it definitely has to do with some type of life purpose, life path, as it was really so be it. So some of you all could be receiving dreams or esoteric information in the form of dreams. Some of y'all could also be seeing geometrical symbols during this time. Um, kind of giving you some type of info, like it's emphasizing some ancestral form of manifestation you having to connect with your roots some of y'all could also be dreaming of your ancestors coming in and talking to you some of you guys could also be finding white feathers during this time spirit wants you to know that you are on the right path and this could also have to do with being in nature some of you all there has to be a death in order for there to be a rebirth of something and some of you all, again, there's this this fear of letting something go or moving away from a job or moving away from comfort. I'm hearing comfort. Like there's this balancing act or balancing that is happening within you during this time. And for some of you all, it's happening to align you. Towards a path that is going to allow you to actually be abundant in finding your own balance within the masculine and the feminine aspects of yourself. But for some of you all, this is the coming together of some type of like twin soul union or a very strong divine partnership. But there is a need for you guys to have some type of communication. Some of you guys also need to call your damn mama. Call your mama. Some of y'all mama piss y'all asses off. Around New Year's, I'm also hearing Thanksgiving, and some of y'all are being petty petty. You gonna show her? No, the thing, the reason why things are being stagnant in your life is because spirit trying to show you whoever that's for. Okay, humble yourself. All right, so let's get it. Y'all know we family. I mind telling y'all shit. Y'all, what y'all gonna do for y'all birthday? I know, but everybody gonna say go eat. Y'all know y'all ain't fooling me. Damn it, food was y'all first love. Maybe everybody else act like they don't know. So it's I, I know. Okay, I know. I damn know. Here, look at my tourists expecting love. 
to put a corn thing in love. Mid month. Now to the end of April. Right. What can they expect in love? Some of you all, yeah. Some of you all really want to make an offer or possibly someone wants to come and make an offer to you, but there's this fear of being rejected or this fear of not having enough, okay? But for some of you all, you could possibly be ending cycles where you feel as if or you're dealing with someone who makes you feel as if, you know, you don't have enough or as if you are, or make you feel, um, if you're a man, I definitely feel like this is a masculine, masculine energy, someone making you feel as if you're like demasculated or as if you're kind of like stagnant or you're stuck okay and making an offer for some of you all this is about divine timing okay there is going to be some type of divine intervention for some of you all some y'all are dealing with the sign of Sagittarius all right and some of you guys could also have a water sign Cancer Pisces Scorpio I feel like things were very slow moving with this person and I feel like again for some of you all this has to do with divine timing you and this person will possibly or are possibly going into a new cycle and for some of you all, you're really moving slowly because you don't want to make the same mistake. You could have cut this person off or there could have been some of y'all. You have somebody trying to latch on to your energy. This could be, um, again, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you all, this could also be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But there's a need to, again, release something in order to move forward. Some of y'all could also be having a serious conversation possibly with an air sign male. This could be some type of a father figure, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I definitely feel like it has to do, it's going to come after some form of isolation. Or some of you guys could be communicating with someone that you kind of want to isolate yourself during this time. Some of y'all could also just be having a period where you just, it's like, it's like I, I'm, I'm loving, you know, I'm very open to communicating. I'm open to being expressing of love, but I just really don't want to move any, I don't want anything too serious. For some of you all, you're really focusing on the grindstone. Some of y'all could have recently just started a job, and I definitely feel like for some of you all, this has to do with, again, you're going into a new cycle. But for some of you all, again, there's this stagnant feeling like you're working a job just to have money, but it's not something that you love to do. And Spirit is saying you can manifest, you're in the energy of manifestation during this time. You can have whatever you like, okay? Some of you guys could also be cutting off an Aquarian, or some of you guys could feel like, you're shut off when it comes to some of the things that you want. Like, there's like blockages to you having what you want. Some of you guys also could possibly be, um, some of y'all could also be cutting off an Aquarius or Virgo because you're just really tired of half ass love. You've been manifesting a new beginning, and damn it, it, it's here. Some of you guys have a new beginning or some type of new endeavor. For those of you who were kind of questioning if this was the right time to start your new business endeavor, yes, baby. It is. It's here, okay? Some of you guys, there is some type of new um, or some type of like ascension and commitment. So for those of you who have been dating someone for quite some time, you could there could be talks of like engagement, okay? And for some of you all, some of y'all could have actually, like you could be trying to manifest a new beginning with your life partner, but there's some type of internal conflict about this new beginning or there's some type of interference or... Like there's something preventing the new beginning, okay? Or in order for there to be a new beginning here with this Hierophant card and this Ace of Wands, I feel like a new beginning is going to start some shit, okay? It's going to start some shit because, to be honest with you, either you or another person is already internally conflicted. For some of you all, if you're having to um, break away from a job, some of you guys are definitely dreaming about what it is that you need to do, but there's like a fear of this power moment. For some of you guys, okay, there has to be some type of power moment before there can actually be um, this new beginning here, okay? Or some of you guys are fearing some type of information coming out during this time. This could also be a Scorpio. For those of you who are committed to the sign of Scorpio, you guys could be fighting during this. Could There could be uproars during this time because I feel like someone wants to take things slowly and focus on their finances and their dreams and their career, and somebody really just kind of wants to focus on the commitment, and y'all, you just like, motherfucker, we can't live off love? What you think this is? Like, we, somebody got to go get it. <laughs> hustle. Hustle. Yeah. So some of you guys, yes, definitely. You got the world card and the wheel of fortune here. This is about expansion. Okay. Expansion, expanding, expansion, moving forward into a new cycle. Okay. For some of you all, this could also involve an expansion in children. Okay. But I definitely feel like it's going to be after ending some type of cycle, after ending some type of karmic cycle. For some of you all, this is good karma. 
the wheel is turning in your favor. So some of you guys could be ending a cycle with another Taurus, Leo, a Scorp uh, Scorpio, or an Aquarian. Like you know what you deserve during this time. Some of you guys, and in doing so, you're actually going to have ultimate fulfillment. But there's this fear because you don't know how it's going to go because it's actually going to pull all of the control around the situation out of your hands. Let me tell y'all something. And it's really toxic because some of y'all are really obsessing over this shit. You can't I sound like a damn R. Kelly record. I can't eat, baby. I can't sleep, baby. I mean, you tied to these thoughts. For some of you all, you know you have a soul connection to this person, but there's a fear of it becoming toxic. If it's something about if there's not enough time, like if like someone has a fear of like running out of time, running out of time, that just came very strongly, running out of time, running out of time, running out of time. Let's clarify some of this major kind of fear. Why is the temperance card here for Taurus? Yeah, divine timing, okay? For some of you all, some of y'all could... Some of you guys could actually be moving away from a Sagittarius. Some of you guys could also be, um, you know that you're going into this new cycle. It's like, even though you try to control how things are flowing towards, it's like the divine has all the, all the hands up in the pudding with this. And I feel like some of you are avoiding some type of like towel moment or breaking someone's heart or hurting someone's feelings. Or for some of you all, you could be finding out some type of ultimate betrayal having to do with a Sagittarius and the Gemini Libra Aquarius or um, a Sagittarius, or an air sign. Why is the world card here? Why is the world card here for my booze? Yeah. Okay. So some of you guys are going into new cycles, okay, possibly uh, being after some type of catalytic situation um, having to do with the air sign. Someone could be finding out um, about a third-party situation or like some type of outside interference, all right? And I definitely feel like someone's going to be feeling betrayed. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yeah. For some of you guys, you're ending cycles where putting in the work is one-sided. And you're just focusing on building your empire. You're focusing on building your damn, building your coins. Why is the star card here for Taurus during this time? Why is the star card here? Yeah. Some of you guys could have also been dealing with an Aquarian person that just feel that, y'all, they really like grass. They like cake. They like grass. They just like busting it open and, you know, Bending over that ass. I mean, it just it's how you roll them, you know? It's how you choose to perceive it. What did you learn from this? What did you learn about yourself? What did you learn about your work? What did you learn about, you know, your own personal growth? What did you learn? What do you desire? What do you now fulfill when once this person was your fulfillment? You realize that you're praying way down here, but God is trying to elevate you up here. Why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit card here? Yeah, for some of you all. You communicate possibly to an air sign from a Yaba could be receiving communication from an air sign. Aquarius is here. Um, Gemini Libra, Virgo is here, but somebody could be communicating during this time. They just want to be single. They want to focus on their money. They just want to roll independent. They have to know that they can be independent because there's this lack this there's this lack around fear and like being bonded to people because you feel um you feel it's 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 I have a sense of loyalty, but I also have feel like being bondage to people because you have this fear of like poverty, this fear of not having enough. Why is the tower here? Enlightenment with the number sixteen seven. That's about enlightenment, wisdom, something, some type of clarity, some type of truth coming forward. Uh, this could also be in the dream form regarding. Um, for some of you all, this has to do with the Gemini, okay? But for some of you all, this could also have to do with the past life partner or some soulmate, okay? Yeah, for some of you all, let's clarify the hierarchy, and I got the Six of Swords. So some of you guys uh, could be moving towards commitment, moving away from someone, okay, in order to focus on a commitment. But for some of you guys, you could be releasing a third party, and a third party is releasing you during this time. Someone feels that. They're tired of being internally conflicted over a situation that feels ultimately toxic. It's more draining to be in the relationship than to be out of it. Yeah. And for someone, there's this communication coming regarding that. Clarifying the devil, I got the knight of swords. So for some of y'all, there could be some type of argument where someone could possibly blow up during this time and really speak their damn mind. I'm tired of your shit. I'm going to ride my motherfucking, I'm going to say what the fuck I want to say, because I'm, I'm, I'm a bitch, okay? So really watch your temper during this time, y'all.
But I definitely feel like there's a very abundant energy around Taurus. Bottom of the deck, we got the King of Pentacles. So there's a focus on stability, solid foundation, solid offers. And this is what I feel like we're moving into, new cycles of abundance, new cycles bringing in prosperity, but everybody can't come, period. Okay? So that's what I have for my Taurus. It's my bull, my bulls. From now until the end of April, I will see you guys back live for the month of May. I love y'all. Peace and love. Namaste, babies. Bye, y'all.